Hi everybody, welcome to Trees' World. So everybody, I had plans for today. I was going to go out on a day trip in the camper. Um, but look at the weather, absolutely bucketing down. It's a bit like April showers, but in June. I want to firstly give a shout out to two people. White Van Man, thank you so much for suggesting the solar panel and giving me the link because I always thought solar panels were really techy and um, big things. I didn't, I just imagined something going on top of the roof or something. <laughs> um, but when I looked at your link, I was amazed to see all these smaller solar panels basically set up so that you can trickle charge your battery. Also, I want to thank Alan Glass. Um, he suggested I look at the batteries. So you'll both be pleased to know that I have done both those things, which is why I'm doing this video to um, basically show what I've bought and what I've done. Sorry, white van man, I didn't buy the one you recommended, even though I thought it was a good idea because it was a bendy one. Um, I bought this one because it was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it's got these little pads that I can attach to the windscreen but actually um, um, I think actually they're not very good these pads but it, it can sit flat anyway can't it um, and this make is it's Sealy model number SPP01 and I'm just reading it off the box so a solar panel um, can actually fit into the lighter socket of your vehicle however you've got to make sure that your lighter is actually live when the ignition is off. I've got a little um, USB charge point thing and it's got a little light on it. So just have a look at this. Okay, hold on. And you see, light came on. And that means that if I plug a solar panel in there, then it's going to connect to my battery and the power is gonna go from the solar power panel straight into the battery. So for once, <laughs> um, something was straightforward. One thing I do need to say about the solar panel I bought, um, it's okay, but it doesn't light up when I plug it in. And I want a little light just to say, I'm connected, I'm working. Um, you know, you just, well, you just push this in and um, hope that it's all connected as it should be and that it is all uh, working. So I would say to the manufacturers, just a little light on the end of this would be really useful for someone like me who worries about everything, <laughs> who doubts whether anything is working properly. My solar panel was supplied with these, but I have to say they're a bit feeble. They don't open up very kind of wide to actually fit to the battery connections. So anyway, I don't need these anyway now because I can go direct into the lighter socket. Um, okay, sorted the solar panel out, but now um, I did want to check the batteries and really get to the bottom of why it was going flat in the first place because I've never had this issue before. And so having spoken to the garage, um, we came to the conclusion after testing the batteries that it was the leisure battery that was basically knackered. <laughs> um, and that was drawing power from the main battery whilst it was in storage. And this, this is what we think. So I have now also replaced my leisure battery. Now some people's leisure batteries are located inside the vehicle. And the smallest leisure battery that you can get is this one. Now, this leisure battery like official leisure battery will not fit in the recess that I have, which is under the bonnet. I've had this vehicle, what, eight years? Um, and I'm just really fitting what it has always had since I've had it and, and it's been no problem. Um, let me show you. Now the sun is coming out for five minutes, everybody. Right, let's just um, open the bonnet up, hold on. Ooh. Oh, I'm actually parked at a little spot I know locally and I thought, well, I'm really out of the way here and I can make a recording without loads of traffic going by. Let's have a look. Just, um, and I'll show you the situation with regard to, just opening the bonnet, the battery. Holy 
this isn't boring everybody it probably is but if you're like if you've got a camper then you might find this interesting or you might not hold on let's open the lid i'm trying to hold this selfie stick oh god there we go that's my engine <laughs> this is my main battery this one the vehicle battery and the leisure battery is over there 063e there we go and that is small enough to sit in that recess as opposed to a proper um, what you call leisure battery it is a bit blowy so excuse my hair going all over my face but I also need to tell everybody that I've had four new tires put on the van so um, she's filled up with petrol four new tires um, got her solar panel got her a new leisure battery so she's all raring to go aren't we all <laughs> It's amazing how we need something to look forward to, don't we? Um, it's really important for our mental health <laughs> to um, have something um, in the future, something exciting booked, something, um, a little adventure. So it really is, and, and I do sympathise with everybody out there who have been in the same boat as me, not being able to make plans. I'm going to show you something else that I bought, which I'm really quite excited about, um, and I need to put them on the vehicle but because I'm not parked at home I'm parked in this kind of like nice little spot actually it's really nice and quiet um, I don't think I've got all the bits I need to do it but anyway um, they are look oh you can't see <laughs> very well window stickers can you see if I go like whoa window sticker can you see it look it says trees as well and it's got my logo <laughs> So I'm going to put these on my van. They look more professional than the ones I have at the moment, which are which are homemade. So yeah. Um, oh look, there we go. If I turn the light, it's only because they're covered at the moment. You know, I've got to peel this off, and then it'll stick to the windscreen. This video has been probably a bit boring, but um, hopefully informative to those of you who've got um, a camper. I'm going to say bye bye now. Trees as world. Thank you for watching. Um, do hit subscribe um, if you enjoy following my little channel and um, I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye, trees is wild. I think I've done that twice. <laughs>